Barr and Burke. B squared, if you will. Well, in fact, in their first appearance here, they managed to get a somewhat controversial win over the current champions, the Carolina Connection. In fact, Sexton and Masada had a part in that win. Don't know what they were thinking, but as a result, Burke and Zbar were made the number one contenders. Well, quite honestly, Sexton and Masada whined about it to management. Zbar and Nick Burke said, fine. You, want, you think you deserve the chance? Come get us, and that led to this match this evening. That's rather magnanimous of, uh, of Barr and Burke. Well, I think Barr and Burke are here to try to prove something. They've established themselves up in combat zone wrestling. They were just on the most recent ultra-violent card, and they're here to shed some of that ultra-violence right here at the arena. Nick Burke, a former CCW champion, brings a lot of credentials to the ring, recently formed tag team that's been doing very well in the Northeast. Oh, that's true, but I don't think uh, that the Nick Burke and Z-Bar have ever seen quite the team, quite like the Texas Death Club. No, these two are just nasty individuals. Yeah. Masada, known for hurting people. No one in the backstage area wants to get in the ring with Masada because of the way he treats his opponents. Todd Sexton has become that kind of competitor too. Just recently in a match with Scotty Smooth and Skeeter Frost, they literally knocked Skeeter Frost out, just dropped him on his head. He had to be carried to the back, had to seek doctor's attention. They just don't care. That's the truth. They're not very, not very popular backstage, too. Nobody even wants to talk to those guys. But the Texas Death Club, they are here with a focus. They want those tag team titles. And the Carolina Connection, I'm sure, has got to be somewhat concerned that either the Texas Death Club and certainly Nick Burke and Z-Bar, perhaps in their very near future, at Christmas Chaos. You never know. It's going to be one of these two teams. Both have great credentials, but only one of them can go to chaos against the present tag champions, Jeremy V and Brandon P. Nice go behind takedown. Oh, and he's just messing with him now, but that's a mistake. Well, I think Burke and can return the favor. Shows it. Yeah, no, no problem with there. Looks like Burke is not afraid to mix it up with Masato, one of the first people we've seen willing to take it to him. And a very thoughtful moment from Masada. And you don't ever get those kind of moments from Masada. Obviously, he's a really underestimated Burke and Barr. Well, Masada's like a bully, like all bullies. Once you get in their face and confront them, you find out that they're really not as tough as they think they are. Boy, oh, drop toe hold. Oh, Sending three Sexton. times over, and that takes Sexton over. And here's her first appearance of Zbar in the ring. And Zbar going after the left arm of Todd Sexton. Frankly, uh, knowing uh, Todd Sexton like we do so well, I dare say going after the, the legs of Sexton might be a bit more uh, powerful. Zbar, of course, is known to his fans as the ultra violent man whore. And I, I think I just embarrassed myself by saying that. I thought you were the original ultra-violent man whore. No, 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 no. Oh. I, re I retired that. Oh. I've, got to, I have to, I've got to quit reading the sheets. And Zebra going for a headlock on Masada. Masada having none of it. Up and over into the ropes. Clothesline duck under. Nice shoulder block by Masada. Over again. Zebra's up. Hip toss. Zebar again. Nice. Takes him over, arm drag, and he's got control of the arm. Z-Bar and Nick Burke realizing so much is on the line here. Not so much the tag team titles, obviously, and neither of these teams are involved in any with the title at the moment, but at the Christmas chaos, definitely the gold will be on the line. Ooh. Takes him down, brings him back over into the ropes. Double team moves here. Posey sort of lost control of this. Double knock on the knees. Comes across. Oh, that's a true test of the five pound, yeah. Sandwiched him in between. He had nowhere to go. So Masada tried to lean back to get away from it, still managed to catch most of it. Yeah, hey, boy, I've not seen Masada handle quite like this in quite some time. I said this is his rookie years in the uh, with the with the uh, Texas Wrestling Academy. Referee Posey telling him to open up the hand. He opened it up and then hit him with another fist. Z-Bar, well, that was just a sloppy mistake there. Z-Bar was looking for him, couldn't find him, and Masada was just waiting, and now a chop fist. Yeah, frankly, sometimes in the heat of the moment, you make some poor decisions, and there's one there by Z-Bar. In comes the fresh Todd Sexton. Fist flying to the face of Z-Bar. Nice twisting drop kick by Sexton. Catch caught him a little low, but still enough to take him down and do some damage. That's just a kick to the back of the head. Yeah, you'd be hard pressed to find one of the better drop kicks in professional wrestling other than one done by Todd Sexton. 
goes for the clothesline, duck under, cross body block, takes it down, two count, almost had him right there. The element of surprise, quite obviously key in the attack of Z-Bar onto the Texas Death Club. Oh, now look, they drag Posey over and now they're double teaming. Z-Bar over in the corner, had his throat across the ropes. Now they're in with a double team. Posey has not had a lot of control over this particular match. No, he certainly has not. Boy, a pair of fists to the chin of Z-Bar. And the team of Burke and Barr uh, really getting handed to them by the Texas Death Club. Suplex, two count. And Masada seemingly rather upset at not getting a pinfall victory on Z-Bar with that. And showing his displeasure onto the prone body of Z-Bar. Toss him in the corner, big kick to the stomach right there by Sexton, has got control, takes him up. Big suplex down, goes for the pin. Two count, only two. Rear chin lock as soon as possible, but his involvement sometimes is actually costing his own partner an awful lot of damage. And there's a tag right there, but I don't think Mike Posey saw it. No, no he's occupied over with Masada. And Nick Burke trying to get in, but no, Mike Posey taking him out. Here comes Masada as Posey's back is turned. They've got him set. They're going for their finish right here. They're going for their big maneuver. Wait a minute. Nick Burke able to take Masada down. Sexton up and over. Nick Burke is not the legal man, but he tosses him over the corner. And a there's the tag. Frankly, a very good maneuver on the part of Nick Burke. Wish more folks would do that. And Nick Burke, boy, fists are flying to the heads of each member of the Texas Death Club. He's got him reeling to rock and Sexton into Masada. Masada's hooked up in the ropes, coming off big. Not sort quite of a leg lariat right there, up into the upper chest. Mas Face plant there, almost a DDT form of move. Has him covered two. Oh, wait, Masada hit his own man. Double drop kick, rock and roll style. Boy, Z Bar and Nick Burke seemingly rising from the ashes here, like a phoenix. Wait a minute, they're going to the top, and it looks like they have Sexton set up for something. I'm not sure what this is. It's Barr and Burke up on that top rope. Leg drop. Oh, and the Masada, two oh, Masada pulls Mike Posey from the ring. Oh, it's an old trick. Must have learned that from old Jeff Bailey videotapes. And Z-Barr hurling his own body over that top rope. Oh, Sexton was waiting for him. Managed to hook him, and he's got a big handful of tights, Steven. Oh. Ladies and gentlemen, the winners of the match and receiving a shot at the Wild Side Tag Team titles at Christmas Chaos, Todd Sexton and Masada, the Texas Death Club. It wasn't too long ago that Nick Burke and Z Bar got the call from NWA Wildside. They said, kids, you're good. We can use you on our roster. You're a hell of a tag team. We want you to come down. We come down, we wrestle the tag team champions, and we beat the tag team champions, making us the number one contenders. Todd, Sexton, and Masada, you had a problem with that. You said you were the number one contenders. We went out there tonight, we had the match won. You guys screwed us, but we're not going to complain. We're not going to complain at all. If we got to start from the bottom, that's not a problem. But we got a hit list. And at the top of that hit list is Todd Sexton and Masada, the Texas Death Club. And boys, you better be prepared. Because this isn't the last time you're going to see us. Unlike most people who come here and fly about, we'll be back on January 3rd. And we'll be back after that, and after that, and after that. Because like a thorn in your side, you just can't get rid of us. We'll see you boys soon.